you know, I really don't appreciate this. This whole shaking noises. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I'm so done. Look at this. Okay, so let me walk over here, right? I'm just gonna do this nice and calmly. Because last time I was running around in a panic and I got myself killed. So I'm good. I'm good. Okay. 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 Stop. Alright, let me do this. How am I supposed to? Okay, so I have to jump, right? Alright. Jump. Jump. And I'm dead. Oh my goodness this sucks how am I supposed to jump to the other side without getting killed I need to know how to do that lover ladies here like my video share my video leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys but most importantly please subscribe to my channel that way you'll be able to get daily gaming content and hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right, jump, jump. Oh. Okay, so the X button, the X button is where I jump. I keep miss button myself to death, which sucks, but whatever. Yeah, 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 whatever. You can hit me with all of these steel beams as much as you can. We already know I'm going to die by misbuttoning myself. All right, let's go right here, right here. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Jump. Wow, I did it. I did it. Wow. How many attempts? I fought. Woo! That is so chaotic. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's go up right here. Right here. Got it. Oh, come on. I'm trying here. Woo. Oh, hey. It's the lady. How you been? And my two amigos. You see, this is good. You made it. Well yeah. Okay, but these are my buddies. We're safe here. I have looked after the well lit room for many, many years now. There is no shadow of figure within the room. Our is fail safe for the groups are numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. Wow, you're so hardcore. Very hardcore. Don't judge her. Dude, the fact that she's the best thing we got, I'm totally safe with her. here back then they must have built this yes they did it's my place now are you paying property taxes ma'am or did you low-key just take it either way i respect it take it and i won't need to worry about the room anymore because six and 33 and 118 need changing soon and I of course climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired and if you take it I won't have to do that anymore okay all right say less I can tell the you're stressed out biographical a memory from my childhood but I didn't write this it was a page written by Thomas Zane none of them were supposed to exist anymore Alan seven years old would fight sleep to the bitter end when he did sleep he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this, 
As he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand, he took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. Thanks, Zane. MVP, bro. MVP. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light in the song! He left something behind to help me. The Clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the Clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. I'm ready. I am so ready to end this. Everything happens in New York. I'm not even surprised. Alright, let me see what this flashback details because if it's gonna help me win this game, I need to take some diligent notes, you know? was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. Ooh. In my moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Oh, I don't I don't like that. The noise is bothering me. My headache, I can tell my headache is killing me. Uh, the sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. I wasn't sure I'd make it out there without some painkillers. Let's take some drugs. Come on. That noise Those is really bothering fast. me, though. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. Okay, this is the biggest bathroom I've ever seen. I'm pretty jealous. I really am. Because the bathroom I have is smaller than this. Machine. Wait, hold on. Let me let me look around my apartment. Another QR code? What? Was that there before? Hold on. Hold on. You know I love these little Easter eggs, right? So I definitely gotta see what this QR code's about. Alright, so it's another YouTube video, so check this out. The dark place was an endless waking dream. I saw visions carried by the ebb and flow of different dream states. They seeped in from the reality beyond. Things I had a connection to, but also things I couldn't possibly know. I used them in my writing to make it real, so that the parts that weren't would become so. And there were visions that I knew were not real. Ideas I had lost, often of Casey. I had written about him for years. I used them as well. The lies had to feel true for them to become true. Had I always written this way? Even before, seen things without realizing I was seeing them, thinking they were mine. Was this what inspiration was for me? I just love how this game has cute little Easter eggs where you're able to be even more immersed in this game this is so cool i like that okay can we talk about how big the kitchen is my bestie my 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 sis right here would love to have a kitchen like that because she loves to cook and honestly if i had a bookshelf like that i would be so happy i wouldn't even need to have a tv i would just read all day every day yeah, this is definitely typical New York City. Very dark and gloomy. While being fashionable, I guess. And this is Alice's workspace. Seems like nothing has changed from what I've remembered. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Of course. Wait. Right. Now, look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that. Okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. 
watch the show. Watch what show? Are we talking about the same show that we've been watching this whole time on the TV? Congratulations! That's great to hear! So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Which is where I am right now. Lots hmm. of parties and, um... You got it to a fight with some paparazzi. That's why my wife was mad? Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. Well, I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake, and what's more, do the face for his Sam. <laughs> and our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you. At least I'd been funny. I told myself I could live with that. Alice? I'm stupid if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. No! No, I just want to be with you. It's been a while. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Oh. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah. You're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once I miss you. Home, let's go away together. A vacation. Just no. Some peace and quiet. That's how it started? Oh, no. I miss my wife. Like, give me back Alice. All I wanted was peace and quiet. And yet this demonic, this so demonic presence took my wife away. To the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. He died. Hey, ready when you are. No, I'm sorry, it's just sir, me. But I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. I'm sorry, Barry. Oh, wow. I love you too, buddy. Thanks for everything. 
see you later. With Alice. Key word, with Alice. I'll see you later with Alice. Oh, look, my best friend crying. He's worried about me, I can sell. When but you know what? It was warm and sunny. I'd flick the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. And I'm ready. I'm ready to end this whole thing. This has gone too far too long enough. You took my wife, you almost took my sanity, and I'm getting everything back. Alone, in daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this. Having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed, there would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. It is strangely quiet and light out, but I'm not even going to question the power of the clicker because if it suddenly changed like that, then you know I have the main... The main instrument that can help me win this evil, this long battle of evil. Is there anything for me to take here? Hold on. Ooh, I knew it. It's a good thing I stopped. Because I think I see some stuff for me to take. Yep, lithium batteries. Good old lithium batteries. Alright, I'm ready. Wow, this is it, you guys. I'm finally gonna end all of this. Is there anything in here? For me to take? No? Nothing? Yeah, I don't see anything. Should I explore that barn? Nah, I'm gonna keep going. I gotta end this. Oh, great! Really? Not to walk by foot. Oh! As it touched me, there was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Great. And I thought, I thought this was going to be an easy trip. I and now it's dark. Excuse me? No. No. Let's go. Thank you. Anyways. Wow. Everything is all dark now, huh? And it looks like there's a page there for me. Alright, so this page is titled... The Dark Presence wants to the stop Wade. Presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the writer from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. Yep, the darkness. The darkness is so shaken. That she's really trying to stop me. Which is cute. But you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna do all I can to reach Cauldron Lake. Even if it kills me. Even if it kills me. I see so many cars here. So many abandoned cars. This is insane. Oh no. Oh no. We're not doing this. Bye. I'm gonna try not to hit them because I know for a fact if I do, it's gonna cause problems. Okay, come on. Great. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? You know what? Let me go in here. 
That way I can get more supplies. And I already know how to get out of here, too, so... Come on, get up the stairs, Alan! Gosh. That's it? Wait, hold on. Can I actually get in here? Ooh, I can. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. And a gun. Room, wait, room, ooh. Did I just hit myself in the corner? Room number two, though. Let me see. General information, refundable $100 security deposit is required on all reservations. No personal checks accepted. We take all major credit cards and bank cards. Checkout time is 10 a.m. No loud music, no peeps. One vehicle per unit. Facilities are for registered guests only. No visitors are allowed on the premises after 9 p.m. No exceptions. Blah, blah, blah. So he was at number... Wait, the thermos. You know what? It's a good thing I stayed here, honestly. So room two, right? Right here. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. And I got some ammo. But look. This is crazy. I mean, I'm happy I got to stay here, but still. Look at all the pictures he has. Huh. Ah! Could have fooled me, pal. No! Shit. Okay, you know what? Woo! It's time to leave. So, I'm gonna head on out. Let's go. Let's go. I can't. This, this game is punishing me for being nosy, so I'm leaving. Let's go. Let's drive. Ready? Whee! Okay. See, I'm happy. It's a good thing I decided to take that little detour. Am I right? Oh no! Oh no! This is horrible! Horrible! Anyways, are you kidding me? Alright, let's go. Come on, Alan. Come on, Alan. Let's leave. Hurry up. The pressure is getting wassa. Ooh, thank you. I'll take all of this. Alright, am I good? Um... Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Let's go. Come on. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Come on, leave me alone. Oh, gosh. Alan, run. Run. Oh, gosh. This is horrible. Can I jump? No, I can't jump. Oh, gosh. Q, stop. God. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Q, stop. Can you stop, please? Oh, gosh, I'm dead. This is horrible. How am I supposed to get through this? Okay, so... How... Can I climb? <laughs> I wish I could just, you know, go to the sidelines. Wait a minute, maybe that's what I need to do. Duh, the sidelines. Then I'll be all set and ready to go, and no one will bother me. See? Perfect. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So either way, I have to go through this main bridge. Let me stop running, because Alan can't seem to know how to pace himself. Because he sucks. Okay, let's go through here again, right? And I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm so ready. Can I take more? No, right? There's nothing else for me. Okay. Alright. Cue the... There you go. There you go. There you go. Awesome. Are we done? We're done, right? What else is trying to get me? Come on. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay, that's enough. 
That's enough. Quiet. Oh gosh, of course. Of course. This is horrible. I am trying. I am trying to live. Look at this. Look. Look, 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 look. Horrible. Horrible. Great. Can y'all stop? Can y'all stop, please? Can you stop? Can y'all stop? Oh, gosh. This is horrible. Alright, I'm good, right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm okay. I'm doing... Oh, gosh. This is horrendous. Jump. Come on, Alan. Alright, what else? What else? Nope. Sorry, not, no, leave me alone. Cut it out. Horrible. Who's moving like that? Cut it out. Okay. All right, what's next? I'm taking my sweet time too. I really don't care. Stop it. Cut it out. Oh my goodness, this is horrible. Horrible. Oh, come on. Not the claw. Not the claw. Come on. Stop. Oh, gosh. Oh, I can't even move. Okay. Come on, Ellen. Let's uh, skedaddle. Come on. Oh, gosh. Come on. Flash bang right now. Thank you. Okay, we're done. We're done. Yes. Come on. Thank you. We're almost there. Come on. Finally. Finally. Oh, I made it alive. So, oh, and there's those guys down there. Come on. You know what? Maybe I can use that car. Because there's a reason why this light is shining on this car. So. Yes! Finally. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. That's right. Boom. Let's go. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Why can I... Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Oh, gosh. Horrible. I'm just trying to get to this lake, man. Like, I really am. Come on. What? This car is really trying to run me over. Oh my gosh. This darkness is really trying to hold me back. Booty. This is pure booty. I mean, my car is good. I don't need another one. But still, come on. And the bridge is shaking. For what? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. No, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, okay, okay. This is insane. Can I go through here? Yes, I can. Come on. Come on. Thank you. And I can't. I can't. Okay. I can't, apparently. Horrible. Can I drive through here? No, I can't. Oh, gosh. I forgot about these things. Alright, let me make sure I don't walk over them. I have no time. I just want to get to the lake. Apparently, it's too much work. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Bye. You suck. There you go. Thank you. Alright. I should be good, right? Yeah, I should be good. Alright. I'm gonna take this nice and slow. Cause this is just bull. Pure bull, you hear me? Okay. Another one? Come on! Alright, single file. Come on. Thank you. Shit. Thank you. Woo! Ha ha! Let's go! Let's go. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Pure. Pure bull. 
cheater. I hate cheaters. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Yep, that's right. You ain't gonna get me. You want me? You're gonna have to fight. Let's go. There you go. There you go. You're next. And, uh, who else? Who else wants a piece of meat? You're next. Anyways. I am fighting for my life! Yo, you saw that? I ain't stupid. You wanna fight me too? Come here. Woo! Anyways. Anyways. The audacity. The audacity! I'm trying to live my life, find my wife, you go and try and play me like this. Like, as if. Another one. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Come on. There you go. And you too, right? Come here. Come here. Yeah. And the last page. Come on. Let me see. Let me see. All right. So this one is called... The Trail of the Dark Presence. The bottom of Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The Dark Presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long ago crashed airplane there, trees shattered under the impacts, the earth groaned, and didn't even notice. All right, we're getting close. I can feel it. Come on, there you go. Checkpoint reached. And some goods. Finally, some goods. Thank you for watching. This is the Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.